You know, I be thinking it's rude when people be like, why are you single? Oh, you've been single for three years. You're the problem. What's wrong with you? Why I gotta be the problem? Because I've been single for three years. My last relationship was December of 2021. I've had a situationship, but obviously that didn't get anywhere. But how am I the problem? I'm not the problem. It's the men. The men are the problem. But yes, I've been single for a long time. That's a long time for me because I'm a relationship type of woman. But it is what it is. I don't... I'm not the problem. You know, I be thinking it's rude. Nah, it's just because they write. And the thing is, the truth, you know what I'm saying, is something that women just can't handle and they can't stick around for. And they think that it's rude. And like, how is the truth rude? It's, it's This is ridiculous, man. And that's the thing. They probably are the problem. And then you see how she just blanks out, goes into delusion and just says, the man is the problem. Yeah, yeah, the man is the problem. It's up to you to lock the man down to get the relationship. And it's not hard. Last time I checked, men are not that like difficult we're very simple and if you can't like literally take care of the simplest things and lock a man down you're useless and if you're over 25 years old you're definitely going half off on the half off rack if you can't be corrected then you cannot be directed and if you cannot be directed then you can't be protected mm. and these modern women wonder why dudes don't deal with them now won't protect them now, won't put them in a relationship, won't give them what they're actually looking for from a biological standpoint because they just don't possess what men are looking for, which is the simple things. This is why dudes go overseas, this is why guys go elsewhere because guys are just knowing their worth, their, val their actual value as men and they understand that I control this. I control my destiny, not these modern women. So absolutely right, these women are, they're starting to get with the program and I like to see it. Yeah, nigga, I'm gonna get me a white bitch or a Mexican. Nigga, they love or surpass the, the black sister's love, homie. Boy, when you got your white girl, Mexican, who love nigga, homie, she down to reciprocate the same love your mother gave you. Mm -hmm. The sister can't because she's been trained not to trust you, nigga. They'll trust you more. And nigga, they love or surpass the, the black sister's love, homie, because they really want to love you with no boundaries. Nah, homie, when you find a white girl or another race of woman and she's really in the black dude, Nigga can't know because nigga she'll be willing to leave her inheritance. She'll be willing to shut off her ties with her family to be with you. The sister won't. Sister won't even lose her job for you. Let alone her section eight. Our sisters, nigga, they don't love us unconditionally. It's conditional love with the black woman and the black boy now. I went across the railroad tracks and made my baby. I agree with his sentiments. Me personally, myself, like I deal with Hispanic women. And my first girlfriend, by the way, her name was Marivelle. When I was like seven years old, she was Mexican. I've always found uh, Hispanic women here uh, where I live, like and everywhere that I travel, or just women that of Latin descent, or even Asian women. They're just more caring, docile, feminine. They just have more of what men are looking for. And like he said, more of that mother's love. Not that weird stuff that women try to say, oh, you want your mom, and try to like take a hack at it. No. I don't want my mom. I want a woman that's going to be a good mom. What if I had a dog shit mom? What if I want a good mom? Or what if I uh, didn't have a father or other people don't have fathers? You want to be a good father and you want to have both good parents in the household. And where do you get that typically nowadays? Overseas. I am just a girl who is trying to get 10 people followers to hit my creative fund program. And um, I'm only... Maybe 2,000 away. Can we make it happen? This is getting kind of pathetic at this point. Of course, there's going to be 2,000 simps that are going to rush to her aid and try to hurry up and follow her and get her to her goal because she's going off the adage, if you can't beat them, join them. Try to be like the men because clearly she has been in my videos before trying to get a man's attention, asking for a man to shoot a shot, and we still don't have an update from that. So that just goes to show you, women are just trying to play the field, see what their options are. They're not serious about anything. And this is why guys aren't serious about them, especially women that are over 30 years old, like herself. I never get approached by men, ever, let alone attractive men, like men that I would even consider or fathom giving a chance. Maybe this is just a me thing. I don't really go out a lot, so I'm not 100% sure what the deal is. Oh my God, and it's so frustrating too, because it's like, really, am I not giving off like the energy that I want to be talked to? I mean, I don't go to a lot of bars, let's be real. Like I don't go out much, but still, even just in general, even when I was going out, it was like, 
the guys who would come up to me were the guys who were so used to just crashing and burning all the time. Like they were just so desperate. They would go up to anyone. And it was actually kind of an insult when they would come up to me. I would literally be like, what the hell were you thinking? Anyways, I just got my notes done. So if anyone wants to man up and come up to me, maybe you can put a rock on these cute little fingers. Please have some wolves. The men you want and even the men that you don't want that are completely invisible to you, even they have enough sense to know that you're going to be a headache and that you're for the streets. And if they do uh, try to get with you, it'll just be to play the game. And once they get the box, they're going to pretty much ghost you. And you're like, am I not looking up to par? Am I not looking like I want to be snatched? You're looking mighty average. <laughs> they have overinflated senses of self-worth, ego, and men are just... Like, no, we bring you back to reality. And this is quite humbling for her because this is what it's going to be. The guys are going to either not talk to you whatsoever. You're going to disappear and become ghosts in the dating market, buying your own drinks at the bar or the guys that you do go for. You do give a chance to finally when you get completely dried out. And you're like, I'll take anybody. Those guys are just going to run the game, get the box, find out that your personality is dog shit and get on with their lives. And that's just the honest truth.